Boeing 787 Dreamliner has been flying since 2011, made of a lightweight composite material and stronger than a typical aluminum fuselage. But a current Boeing quality engineer has told the FAA he believes the plane has a potentially fatal flaw. I think it's as serious as I have ever seen in my lifetime. 15-year Boeing veteran Sam Salapur will tell Congress Wednesday that the gaps between big pieces of the fuselage are too big. And even though they're fastened together, the stress could create fatigue failure in the fuselage after thousands of flights. What would happen if you had a fatigue failure in a 787 at altitude? The plane will fall apart at the joints where we're talking about. Once you fall apart, you're going to descend all the way to the ground. You think the plane could literally break apart in air? Absolutely. But Boeing tells NBC News we are fully confident in the 787 Dreamliner because of the comprehensive work done to ensure the quality and long-term safety of the aircraft. These claims about the structural integrity of the 787 are inaccurate. These issues do not present any safety concerns. In 2020, Boeing worked with the FAA to tighten paper-thin gaps, pausing plane deliveries for two years, stress testing the plane to 165,000 takeoffs and landings, more than three times a typical 787's lifespan, and inspecting 689 planes already in service. Boeing says it found zero evidence of fatigue. Even if these cracks would form, which there's no evidence of, the airplane is so resistant and so structurally robust, according to Boeing, that they're not going to break apart. Salapur was moved from the 787 project in 2022, he claims, in retaliation for raising these concerns internally. Boeing insists retaliation is strictly prohibited. Salapur admits he does not have access to all of Boeing's test data. Still, with 1,100 planes in service, he'll tell Congress the 787 should not be flying. Should Boeing ground the 787 right now to check the gap sizes? I would say they need to. The entire fleet worldwide? The entire fleet worldwide, as far as I'm concerned right now, needs an attention. On Monday, Boeing gave reporters a detailed briefing on its extensive stress tests, its reputation on the line after two fatal MAX 8 crashes overseas, and the MAX 9 door plug blowout in January, the subject of Wednesday's congressional hearing. Salapur's attorney says she's heard from more than half a dozen other potential whistleblowers with similar concerns. Have any of those whistleblowers agreed to come forward yet? Not yet. I think some of them will come forward, but frankly, they're terrified. I'm at peace with myself because this is going to save a lot of people's lives. That's what's at stake. That's what's at stake. Tom, these are really serious allegations. What is the FAA saying about them? Yeah, the FAA says it investigates every whistleblower complaint and it inspects every new 787 that comes off the assembly line to make sure it complies with an airworthiness directive. And Boeing, by the way, says its employee speak up program, encouraging employees to come forward with concerns, has led to a 500 percent increase in employee tips and feedback. Lester. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.